By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to become a compliant property deal sourcer. We broke it down real simple for you guys. We put it into four stages. So we sold a few deals. Uh, we're also getting past quite a lot of deals now, so we can't take them all on. So if you're in down south area doing rent to rent, rent to rent HMO, let us know. And uh, yeah, you can join our mailing list. Whenever we get any deals, we'll just send them your way. A nice little fee. <laughs> so step number one to become a compliant property deal sourcer, you've got to have the right insurances. So the first thing you're going to need is professional indemnity insurance. So you're in a profession and it indemnifies you if you screw up. So if you're giving advice or telling someone what to do or how to do it, or um, giving somebody a service, you're going to need this insurance because it indemnifies you if anything goes wrong. So setting up professional indemnity insurance will protect you from any issues that might come up in the future. Maybe someone buys a deal off you and they feel like the advice you've given to them was bad advice and it wasn't a good deal, even if it was a good deal, and then they might try and sue you. So having this insurance in place will protect you from things like that. So get it. So there are other insurances that you may or may not need. First one is public liability insurance. If you've got a member of the public that's stepping foot onto your business premises and they slip up and hurt themselves or something, and they're trying to make a claim on you, like that insurance will cover you for that. If you don't have a business premises, so you don't need to worry about it for now. Another one's employer liability insurance. This is if like, say you have a member of staff and then they trip over a wire in your office and snap their neck. Like seriously, they could claim for you against something like that and then that, that will cover you for that. So step two of becoming a compliant property deal sourcer, you need to be a member of one of the property redress schemes. So there's two you can choose from, TPO and the PRS. PRS is the property redress scheme. TPO is the property ombudsman. Go for whichever one, but you have to be with one of them. It's the law. It also makes you look professional because you've got to follow the code of conduct. You've got to act ethically and you will be held accountable. So it makes you, it work. It is, you have to have it. It's anyway. a must. Yeah. <laughs> Just get it. I know what you're thinking. You don't know what that is. Take it away. <laughs> So they offer independent bodies for customers to raise complaints to. If the customer or your client or the person who's buying a deal with you isn't like make, made a complaint about you and they're not happy with the way that you've dealt with their complaint, then one of these redress schemes is like the next stage for them to take their complaint basically. It's, it's what they can use to escalate it. Make sure you're registered with one of them. So yeah, as a property deal sourcer, compliance one, you must be registered or a member of one of those redress schemes. To do that. So step three of becoming a compliant property deal sourcer, you need to register with the ICO. That is the Information Commissioner's Office. So as a property deal sourcer, you're going to be holding or handling a lot of personal information, whether it's your investors' information, the landlord's information, um, the buyer, the seller, you know, all that sort of good stuff. You're going to be handling information. So you are required by law to be registered with the ICO. Otherwise you're breaking GDPR rules. Yeah, so it only costs about 40 quid each year to renew, I think, or 35 quid. Uh, yeah. All links, by the way, for all of this stuff is gonna be in the description. We're not getting paid from it, all right? So just watch the ads till the end. Yeah, always watch the ads that come up on our videos. Till the very end. So step number four, becoming a compliant property deal sourcer is Anti-money laundering. Anti-money laundering. You're damn right it is. This one is a must. Just the same as step three, step two and step one. <laughs> this is also a must. Let me tell you why. So property or the property market is a prime target for criminals to launder their money. As a property deal sourcer, you could be putting your business at risk if you don't have anti-money laundering. An investor might be buying a deal, but they might have got that money illegally and they might be trying to launder their money. Yeah, so it is important that you protect yourself and ultimately protect your business. So make sure you have all four of those things to become a compliant property deal sourcer. If you're looking to buy a deal off a deal sourcer, you need to make sure that they're compliant and do your own due diligence on the deal that you're buying off the deal sourcer as well. Yeah, as well as doing your due diligence on that deal sourcer. Yeah, because there's a lot of bad deal sources around. Right, so that just about wraps this one up. Hope you enjoyed. Those are our four steps for becoming a compliant property deal sourcer. Make sure you do it. Right, also, if you want to subscribe, 
Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that wraps this one up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Smash the likes as always. Drop your comments. What videos do you want to see next?